<clears throat> how to start hello there happy monday or tuesday depending on which day this video is coming up i'm not gonna do my normal little intro today i'm just gonna get started this is a get ready with me and uh yeah i'm just gonna dive right on in dive on in dive on in dive on in so i just wanted to address the little elephant in the room where i've been i've been sick and uh, when you're sick your skin isn't the best and you don't take care of your skin the best so yeah i need to prep with a hydrating primer so i'm gonna use my Elamasca primer hopefully i'll remember to link everything down below this is just a little spoon and this is like burn marks so i don't have pimples there <laughs> So, um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, and even if you do, you might be a little bit shocked where I've been. I have consistently updated and for a very, very long time. And the only time I took a break was this summer, uh, a couple of days, because I said that I was going to take a little vacation. But I did have like two or three videos up for you that week. I don't remember. I've been... Okay, let's just, oh, I don't know, like I don't really know where to start, but it's not like there's something huge that's happened, but but I was going to upload last Sunday, uh, so not yesterday or the day before that, but the week prior to that, and I just felt like I can't do it. I, pfft, no, I don't want to do it, I, no. I had a video already done, the only thing that I know that I needed to do was like the description box and then... <clears throat> the thumbnail and I just got this big feeling like I don't want to do this I, I I I don't feel like doing it and I've been feeling that for quite a while and I've been getting super annoyed and I don't know I was just like you know what I'm not even going to upload uh, I'm going to take a little break for a few days so I updated on Instagram and I said that I just I just need to take a break this is not working anymore um I don't feel very well, so I just, yeah, I needed to take a little break. I've said this so many times, but YouTube isn't my job. This is not something where I cash out all the money. I know that a lot of people cash out money on YouTube and I don't feel like there's some something wrong with that. But since this is only a hobby for me, I just felt like I, I'm not gonna sit here and stress myself out. You know, YouTube has been, become such a big part of my life that if someone asks me like do you want to see me on Tuesday for instance I have to think okay how am I in schedule how much time do I have can I see this person on Tuesday and a lot of the times I have to move the date so that I can work a lot for like a couple of days and then I can see someone so I need to plan 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 it's just stressful and it became super stressful and then during my break I got sick so you can probably hear that I have a little bit of a cold I think I took the wrong foundation today I took the Catrice HD liquid uh, radiance so this is like the hydrating one but it's not like the super full coverage one I don't know I feel like this might be a little bit too high in coverage because I need to blow my nose and I'm a little bit sweaty and you guys know how it is when you're sick but anyway when I became sick I was like oh my god thank god I took this little break because it would would have been a pain in the ass to upload whilst while being sick and like feeling like I needed to edit and do uh, pictures for Instagram and all of that shit and I just felt like nope and there's just been a lot I think that it's me that I put so much pressure on myself and I feel like I want to do this, 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 this. So I want to publish like 14 videos a week, but I just obviously don't have the time and I don't want to do it. Like, I feel like that is way too much. And I just, I don't know, I've just been stressing myself out. That's why it's pretty good to follow me on Instagram. So you do get these updates when, uh, when something like this happens, because even if I didn't take a break, I would have not been publishing because I got sick. I wanted to start off doing my eyes today, but I just feel like I can't really do it because I recorded a little Instagram video. Um, so my eye is a little bit irritated because I applied makeup on this eye and then <clears throat> I needed to take it off so that I could do this little get ready with me. I'm not going to do like a super in-depth. No, super glam look today. Sometimes when I say that, I do it anyway, but 
I don't know what I'm going to do today, but I think it's gonna be a little bit on the easier side, not too, too much, because I just don't really feel like doing it. Well, I feel like doing it, but I don't feel like uh, putting in the time. So during this time, you have no idea how nice it has been. Um, and by the way, don't watch this if you don't wanna hear a lot of like negative stuff, because this is gonna be a super genuine, I'm gonna be super honest and just kind of talk about what I want to talk about. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh my God, this might be a boring video because I don't really give a shit. If you don't wanna watch negative shit, then don't watch this video. You can come back and you can watch another day. But I am a pretty negative and positive person and I feel like I need to just kind of talk about what I need to talk about, you know? I hate to filter myself. I just don't wanna do that. So I'm not going to. <laughs> um, but it's been so, so nice. Of course I've missed talking to you guys and shit like that, but it has just been so nice being off social media and not feeling the pressure of posting or how many likes did I get on that video or how many likes did I get on that Instagram picture or, you know, whatever, and uh, not feeling like I need to respond to over 100 comments. I've just... It, just the fact that like feeling guilty. I've been feeling so, so guilty because I know that I have complained so, so much about people not responding to their comments, for instance, on YouTube videos and such. And I'm feeling like I'm becoming like that myself. Like I, I don't have the time to respond to every single comment because on some videos I get 30 to 40 comments. And then on some videos I get 100 comments or more thinking about the fact that I upload four times a week at least That's a lot of comments and that takes a lot of your time Especially like me. I don't I know a bunch of people who responds for instance like if someone uh, Writes something about the video like and it writes like this much and the person only comments back Thank you for watching. I feel like you okay. You didn't even read what I had to what I had to say and I feel like it would have been better for you not to respond than to respond, thanks for watching. So I don't like doing that. So I like to, when I do reply to comments, I like to reply this much back, you know, and, and really, really take the time to respond to what they are actually saying and what you guys are actually saying. But with that, it takes, you know, a lot, a lot of time and that's time that I need to take from something else. I made Nicholas a tea because he's also sick. He's stirring it kind of loudly, <laughs> sorry. I'm not really sure where I'm going with this either. I haven't filmed for quite a while, so it's, yeah. I feel like I'm, I'm in a rut and I feel like I don't really know how to talk to the camera anymore and yeah, it's just a struggle. But that's anyway what has been going on and uh, why I haven't uploaded. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I have like my little nose piercing right here. I needed to fix it. This combination was really, really nice. I actually like the way my skin looks right now. Apart from my nose. My nose is always a mess, but <clears throat> I have the uh, Elamaska Hydra Veil Primer and then I have the Catrice Foundation that I showed you guys. Too Faced concealer under my eyes and then a little bit of the Makeup Revolution one just to darken it up a little bit and then my e.l.f. cream contour palette that I've been doing a lot of progress on. I've been using this so so much. I know that these look like super dirty but I had to clean them off because they I got a lot of dirt in them. I just went off camera to set my under eyes and just used my little Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder that I've been doing a lot of progress on. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna film my shop my stash later today so I think you're gonna see that on Wednesday or something I'm not really sure but anyway I am going to use my Juvia's Place Tribe palette today and when I'm filming this which is on Saturday this is on huge huge sale so I'm beauty bay I'm beauty bay so check it out but yes I am just thinking of doing something simple, muted green. I've been really, really missing that. I haven't been digging into a lot of greens uh, because of what's been in my shop, my stash, which is really nice. And I have some huge 
announcements in my shop my stash the next shop my stash that I do so yeah check it out if on Wednesday or whenever or on Tuesday I don't really know when it's coming up I'm thinking of changing my schedule a little bit oh I have something here Anyway, I'm thinking about changing my schedule a little bit. So before I have uploaded on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, which has been like three days in a row for me. So I'm thinking of changing it to maybe Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Sunday. Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Sunday. Yes, and maybe, maybe, maybe if I don't have a lot of time only doing it three times a week. I know that it's getting less and less, but honestly, I just, there's so much in my personal life that you guys don't know about that I'm um, that I really want to talk about but I still don't want to talk about it because I'm scared that someone will fuck it up for me um, it's so hard to say but there are so many people out there that are vicious and that are mean and just kind of want to destroy for other people so I feel like I I trust a lot of you guys but you just you you never really know where the snakes are hiding so to speak so this is something that I have never talked about, but something that has been going on for over a year. And this is something that has nothing to do with YouTube, but it's making me um, have less time for YouTube because I'm getting less and less and less and less time at home. If you have followed me for a while, you guys know I said that something was going to change this year, in the beginning of this year, which it has. And now I'm getting less and less and less and less and less and less and less time. But it is something that I just have to have to do. It's something that means so much to me, like to my well-being and just to me personally and something that means a lot to me and my family. So this is just something that I need to do. And maybe sometime in the future, I will be able to talk about it. Again, I would like to talk about it, but I just don't really feel like I can because you never really know people. Um, ever since, I've talked about this in one of my lives, but if you followed Liv Loves Her Makeup, she doesn't do YouTube anymore, but she had someone call animal control on her. Not because she was abusing her animal. I mean, if she was, she was, they, they did it like correctly or, you know, I, I don't disagree with that decision. If someone is hurting their animal, you should. But it was just because of the fact that she had ferrets and she called one of them Mr. Badger. So someone called animal control on her saying that she had a badger as a pet, which was illegal where she lived. This person obviously only wanted to destroy for her. That's kind of what I'm scared of. Like the same thing is going to happen to me, not with my dog, but with anything. So you just don't ever really know. I really like this combination together. So I just have two shades on my eyes currently which is um the shade tootsie and i <laughs> i always want to call this shade ashante um i don't know why i just i think it's because i can't really pronounce juvie's place shadows yeah so anyway i know that there's getting less and less videos here on this channel but honestly i just can't really do it i feel like i need to spend more time on the actual videos that I'm publishing and then a lot of time on Instagram as well. I've been doing a lot of Instagram videos and that really helps me grow and I'm doing a lot of content there that you don't really see on this channel. I don't wanna do like the same sort of content on both channels where I publish like only my thumbnails on my Instagram because that's, why should you follow me? You see them on YouTube. So I wanna do like different content. And that's why I feel like maybe that's how it's going to be. During my little break, I actually got a little proposal from the online store Look Fantastic, but the Swedish online store Look Fantastic contacted me. But this is obviously available in the UK and a lot of different places. And they asked me if I wanted to, if they could send me some products and I could pick out the products myself from the website. So I was like, yes. So I did pick up the naked foundation that you guys wanted me to pick up from the website. And then I picked up some other things that you guys have been wanting me to pick up and I'm going to review them. I think I'm gonna review that tomorrow. So it's gonna be up on my channel as soon as I can. I have some other videos I have already recorded that is also going up, but I have some more like foundation reviews coming up 
um, you know, a bunch of those stuff that you have been asking for and wanted me to post. However, I did talk about this in one of my lives here on Instagram, YouTube, I mean, but I do, damn, I haven't set my base. This is gonna, fuck. But I do delete my um, li my lives. So if you haven't seen them and you haven't seen them like the first 24 hours, I do delete them. Ooh, okay, let's see if we can whisk this away. Oh, yes. Okay, it's stuck some places. I'm just gonna let it sit right there. I'm gonna fix that later on. But what I wanted to say is that I am going to go on a no buy. Um, I know it sucks, but I been I've been miserable because I keep buying all this makeup that I think that I want, but the time that I get them, they're old and I don't. I I it gives me no joy. It brings me no joy. So I feel like okay. Why not just go on a no buy? And I haven't decided a lot on my no buy, and I don't think I'll do like a no buy video because I don't know if I'm gonna do it for long. If you want me to do a video about my no buy, then of course I'll do it, uh, but it's not gonna be like a year long or anything like that. But just comment down below or something if you want me to do a video on that, and of course I can. I guess that it's going to be like an extra video if I do. But anyway, what I wanted to say is that this no buy is only gonna be for two or four months. I haven't decided, but it's at least going to be for two months. And then if I don't do a no buy for the rest of the two months that this year contains, I am going to do a low buy where I will allow myself to purchase two to three items each month. Makeup brings me so much joy, but I've said this so many times, I love using my makeup. I love to use the makeup that I love. Like if I find a bronzer that I absolutely love and adore, I love using it. And if I get three more bronzers that week, I have to put that aside to try and test the new bronzers and to review them. And then I get miserable because all I want to do is to use the, the bronzers that I have in my drawer that is just laying there looking at me like, please use me. And I'm like, no, I'm only going to use my new ones. Do you know what I mean? It's just like, no, I feel depressed and I just, no, I don't want to do it. However, Doing a no buy allows you to get so much critique because a lot of people will now start looking at you like this person is saying that she's not gonna buy any makeup but look at her she failed if I do end up failing you know so it brings so much more critique it brings you to get certain expectations of me that I don't know if I'll be able to hold or to keep just know that I'm doing this no buy for me I'm not doing it for you if you do a no buy you should do it for no other people or no other than yourself I think I'm going to take just a little bit of this makeup wipe I haven't powdered here so I can kind of just Go in with new foundation there. Okay, going in with just a tad more foundation. Ooh, do you see that this oxidizes? Or does it? No, I think it is because I went in with my cream bronzer actually. Uh, however, my, my no buy hasn't started yet. I'm going to start it. I have decided to purchase from the Milk collection. Or Milk Makeup is coming to Sweden. I'm going to allow myself to purchase two items. And then, or more, I, I haven't decided. But after that, my, my no buy starts. So I think my no buy starts on August 30th because it's coming here August 29th. I feel like I have so much to talk to you guys about that I just forget to talk about what I really wanted to talk about. But I was going to talk about the Look Fantastic thing. So I do have a discount code with them that is going to last the entire year, the rest of this year, which is just my name, Paulina, or Paulina, however you want to say it, that will give you 22% off. I don't think it's on everything on the website, but I think it is on most of the things that they do have. So if you are going to purchase anything, it's not affiliated, but I would really love for you to use that code and then my link my link I do earn money from but I would love it if you could use my code if you are purchasing from them because 
I don't earn any money, but if no one used my code, for instance, the company isn't one going to want to collaborate with me again because they are like, okay, no one is using this code, no one is real obviously like want to use or want to support her, so we're not going to collaborate with her again. However, if a bunch of people use my code, then of course they are going to want to collaborate with me in the future. So. If you are going to purchase from the website, you do want to support me, then I would love it if you would use that one. I think I'm gonna have to remove this actually. But yeah, just some quick rules about my no buy, like what kind of rules can, can you have? I'm not allowed to purchase anything. That's kind of my, my, my rule. I am allowing myself to purchase mascara and eyeshadow primer because I use the same products every single time so I do finish them up I don't have a big stock on them it's just like when I run out I need a new one so if my mascara runs out now I don't have a zillion backups I have no backup so of course I'm going to allow myself to purchase a mascara and then I do have an unopened eyeshadow primer so I do think that it's I don't need to purchase it, but if I look if I lost it, I would allow myself to repurchase it. That's the only thing. I am allowed to purchase skincare, but only skincare that, you know, if my eye cream runs out, if my toner runs out, my scrub or you know whatever if that runs out then yes i am allowed to purchase it again other than that i am not allowed to purchase one single item however this thing with pr gets very i've seen a lot of people get a lot of critique on that i will say this i am going to accept pr if it is something that i do want to accept if it's something that I think that I will use, if it's something that I f think is like crap, then no, I'm not gonna accept it, I never do. But I mean, if Too Faced asks me, hey, do you wanna be on our PR list? It's not like I'm gonna say, no, I'm on a no buy, but in two months, yes, I would love to. I had the biggest cough, so I went off camera to just cough and finish up the eyes. I'm not completely done. I'm actually gonna take this one, this one. This is from Stila. This is the Mint Myth liquid eyeshadow or whatever it's called. It's from the Little White Lies collection. I have three of them right now. I bought one of them, like the Yellow Tails one myself, and then I got this from Look Fantastic and the Pink Wink Wink one. But I really want to use this on top of this little situation. I think that that can be really, really cute. And these are like expensive, so definitely could use like a little discount but I'm just gonna take it right over here this is why I didn't buy it okay I'm not saying that it's bad because it's not but I didn't buy this because this is you know the packaging is green and that's really what I wanted but I could see in swatch this that this is a little bit more of that blue tone so I didn't buy it and I'm really really happy that I have it now because it is like a greenish blue but it's, it's so hard you know when you can't really swatch shit it's so hard to know is this gonna be what I like or what I don't like you don't you just never really know I'm going to do my mascara and try and finish up my base and everything and then I'll be right back with probably a little glass of wine as well so I skipped the lashes today because I didn't feel like doing lashes. I was so excited to finish up and use up a lot of my lashes. I went on a lash no buy two months ago, I think it was, and then I bought the, or no, I used, I had them already. <laughs> so I used my Eyelore Feed the Need lashes. I used them every time I used lashes, which was more than three times a week, two to three times a week at least. They broke probably like two weeks ago so they held for two months so i've been using up one pair honestly recommend those lashes if you feel like you need them they are beautiful they're not too long if you have like small eyes like me some people think that they are too dramatic but whatever i like them nonetheless i'm gonna use one of my favorite bronzers which is the balm take home the balm no take home the bronze bronzer in the shade oliver this is the balm 
I was going to say this is the bomb. I felt like doing a little joke, but I don't know if it landed. So I feel like I've been talking so, so much about a lot of shit that it's like boring, negative. That's like, well, let's get over it. We're done, we're happy, we're bye. I'm not making any sense. So I've been wanting to talk a little bit more about this, that um, I've been wanting to upgrade, upgrade my wardrobe a little bit. I've been practically using the same shit over and over and over again. And now I just felt like, you know what? It's time to change my style. So I have bought so many new clothes, um, jewelry, jackets, shoes, clothes, whatever. Like I've been just buying it all. So I felt like since I am on the heavier side, I'm a plus size lady. I have talked about this in another video, but that video isn't up yet, so this might be a little bit confusing. I think I've actually already edited that video, um, but I'm thinking of doing like a little look, not lookbook, but a little bit of like a clothing haul or a little bit of like, you know, a little bit of some sort of fashion video, but I'm not going to do like a fashion video where I have a new fashion haul up every single week. No, that's not me. But I thought that it could be a little bit fun because um, I usually get a lot of questions about, oh, where did you buy that shirt? Or where did you buy those earrings? Or where did you buy that or that or that? And I get a little bit of questions. So I thought that if you wanted to know a little bit more about my style, which is pretty basic, I have maybe some standout things, but it's pretty like classic, it's not like over the edge. I don't have like a, I don't know, but maybe I could do a little bit of that. Um, just like, you know, with my hair videos. I rarely do hair videos, so as often as I do my hair videos, which is maybe two times a year, you know? It's not that often, but maybe that could be fun. I felt like maybe it could be fun to just try something different and not stick to the same every single day and do the same thing all the time. It could be fun to just try and do something new and do something else. Um, I've been really, really inspired by my friend Jessica here on YouTube, Stars Hollywood Jessica. She, okay, she, it's not like she does fashion videos, but she has started a bunch of different series which have made me like, oh, I want to revamp. I want to do something a little bit different because if I keep on doing the same thing over and over and over again, I feel like it's going to be boring. And I don't feel like I want to be one of those review channels that buys all of the new makeup releases and reviews them, even though that that is super fun and everything. I just feel like that is just not me. So that's why I think it's a little bit fun to have a bunch of different series we can mainly focus about makeup and like appearance on my channel but then still do crime videos shop my stash videos uh, fashion videos and do a little bit of mix so it's not always the same like makeup tutorial and will I buy it videos so as I'm using some of my favorite things in this video I'm gonna take my favorite highlight I actually finished up one of these bronzers last year and I finished up what was it this year? I don't remember, but I finished up one of these as well, which is like super impressive. I have already hit pan in this, which is crazy, but I just, this is my favorite highlight in my entire collection. This is my favorite highlight. And then this is probably my favorite bronzer, which says a lot. I've been obsessed with both of them for over a year. Just don't want to put them down. They're just amazing. But yeah, let me know your thoughts about that, just a little bit in general. I feel like we have this channel together and we kind of, I feel like we talk so much, so I feel like we can just, if you are someone that's like, no, fashion videos doesn't interest me, I'm not gonna be offended. It's the same way with my true crime videos. A lot of you guys don't, don't wanna watch them. A lot of you guys says that it's just not really your cup of tea and that's totally fine. I'm not offended by it just because you say, I don't like a certain type of video. It's the same way that I am with vlogs. I've actually been watching a lot of vlogs lately. I think it's because I've been so tired of the beauty community and like the same Oh, I'm gonna review this foundation and this foundation and this foundation, you know? I'm not losing anything by trying. If you don't like it, I'm gonna notice that and then we can just change it back or change it to something else, you know? It's not that big a deal. I think I wanna take my Too Faced blush today. Since I'm 
almost done with my makeup. I thought that we could just summarize a little bit. So you know why I've been gone. Maybe there will be some changes on my channel. Maybe I'll change the dates. More fun content on my Instagram. I might miss a day here or there on YouTube, but that's fine. It's not like we're going to die. If you don't feel like you can accept that, then unsubscribe. Fashion video question mark, plus size fashion question mark. Other content you might wanna see question mark. Shop my stash on Wednesdays. No, this Wednesday. Yeah, I think that that is pretty much it. I can show you a little bit of my little update on my Shop My Stash, but I've been using my Joey highlight a lot in Citrine, and I've been actually doing a lot of progress on it. But I need to take, I'm actually kind of just taking from here. Don't want to waste any product. But uh, I forgot to highlight my inner corner, so I thought that I would do that with this highlight. And a little tip, sometimes when I feel like I've been taking too much highlight, especially on my nose, I kind of go over with my sponge. Especially if I haven't set my foundation because then it doesn't really matter. I haven't set it today. Doesn't look too bad. So um, let's see what we can do for lips. I think I'm just gonna take my gloss. This is from Dose of Color in the shade Can You Nod. It's like a opaque gloss. So I just changed my shirt, put down my hair, and then I put it up again, so it is this little cute. No, it's not. I never do. I never know what to do with my hair because I think it's too flat, and I recently cut it. Like, the week I was sick, I actually cut it, so I would get a little bit more layers, but I still think that it's too short because it's kind of too heavy, and I just, I don't know what to do with my hair. I hate it, so great. Anyway, I changed my shirt and I'm gonna change it back once again now that I've done my little outro. Anyway, I do hope you like this video and please leave me your feedback down below and uh, let me know if you are sad about the changes I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'll see you in one or two days. Don't forget to subscribe to my Instagram if you want to. Bye.